Hey, Mr. Sams. I, you, uh, we just got done with the holidays, and uh, you've been eating a lot of junk, haven't you? I most certainly have. Like, well, like that Cheeto. What, what are you doing with the Cheeto in your hand? I'm staring at it, and I believe I'm going to eat it. Why? Because it's yellow and it's delicious not, looking. It, it, delicious looking. It's processed, Mr. Sims. Oh, but look it's at it. It's not good it's for just you. Begging Isn't to it be not eaten. good for him? Begging mm. to be eaten. I don't think you should eat it, Mr. Sams. I think it, it's going to poison your gut and stuff. Why? Well, it's got like preservatives. Well, It'll be like preserved yeah. forever. That's why you have a liver. Okay, well, um, <laughs> whatever you want to do, but I ain't putting that stuff in my body. Mm. No, no, no. So, uh, we're talking about energy today, Mr. Sams. Thermal energy and heat capacity. So there's energy in that. There is. Quite a bit. This is why fact. I eat them, so I can have lots of energy. Yeah, but it's not the kind of energy that's going to help build muscles. Oh, I don't know. You want good, strong muscles. Ah. And that stuff just, well, uh, it turns into fat. How much energy is in this? Uh, I bet we can figure that out. All right, let's do that. Before I eat it, I, I, I kind of want to know how okay. much is in there. All right, well, let's, let's right. get on to lesson then. Okay. okay. All right. Well, before we get there, we should probably talk, how do you measure energy? Oh, okay. Well, how do, what unit measures energy? The answer is a calorie. So right. we can determine how many calories are in the, uh, in the Cheeto, right? Okay. okay, so now what is a calorie? Well, it's the energy it takes to raise one gram of a substance one degree Celsius. Actually, this is uh, wrong, Mr. Sands. It's one gram of water. Water. One degree Celsius. You're so right. a calorie is one gram of water, one degree Celsius. That's so the, the energy it takes to do that. Yes. Yeah. The energy it takes to do that is called one calorie okay. of energy. Now, that we should actually make a distinction here. Yeah, that's a food, true. A food calorie is actually a kilocalorie. It's one kcal. So, or 1,000 little which calories. Is 1, calories. So when you look in the back of your candy bar there and it says, you know, 250 calories, that's actually 250,000 little calories. In fact, they actually use a capital C calorie yeah. to indicate that it's a kilocalorie. Mm -hmm. So yeah, yeah, that's actually true. So that's a calorie. Now, um, scientists aren't always that interested in using calories, calories though. Right. There's another unit for the SI system, International System of Units, called the Joule, mm -hmm. named after Mr. Joule, Prescott Joule. Cool picture of Prescott here. Looks like an old I love that guy. beard. Yeah, wow. I wish I could do that. Yeah, I could. I, I can't. Oh, I could easily do that. <laughs> um, what is the ba basic unit of energy in the SI system is called the joule. And the, d the conversion for calories to joules, there's 4.18 joules in a calorie. Okay. And that's a little calorie. All right. And we abbreviate a J. I see what you got there. Capital J. Okay. Yep, that's correct. Um, um, let's not worry about this. Yeah. yeah, we don't care about that. All okay, right. that's physics stuff. Okay. <laughs> so how do we measure? Energy. Energy is a tricky thing to measure. Mm, it is. We have to measure changes that occur in order to measure yeah. our energy. So the so way we, we're going to do it in here is we're going to use water. Yeah, we're going to heat up some water yeah. or cool it down. In mm -hmm. this case, we'll probably heat it up. And if we know the mass of the water and the temperature of the water, the specific heat is known. Now, this, there's a new word here, something called the specific heat. And we're going to learn about that right. a little bit later. But that's abbreviated C. And, and it's also called heat capacity. Heat capacity. Right. That's so correct. two different terms. Specific heat and heat capacity are the same thing. Yep, that's correct. Okay, so there's an important equation that called the thermal energy equation. And this is the equation. Q is equal to mc delta T, where Q is your energy. Yep, or your heat measured in joules. And that'll be in joules. Okay. M is the mass. That's the mass. C is this new thing we're talking about. It's called the heat capacity or the specific heat. Sometimes called the specific heat capacity. Right. And then we've got a funny looking symbol there, Mr. Yeah, Sam. Delta. Little... Delta means change and T is temperature. So that's our change in temperature. That's the change. What do you mean by change in temperature? Well, you have your, your initial temperature and your final temperature, and you subtract them, and you get your change in temperature. So if it goes from 20 degrees Celsius to 25 degrees Celsius, mm -hmm. the delta T is five. would be 5 degrees. Yeah. So make sure you understand that this is one term, delta T, not delta and T. It's mm -hmm. one continuous thing. Well, I think we should figure out how much energy is in that Cheeto. Okay, let's do it. So let's do the Cheeto video clip. Okay. All right. Well, Mr. Sams, to prove it to you, to prove to you that you shouldn't be eating these things, I've got a cool experiment to do. Mm. So, here, I happen to have some Cheetos, which you just ate, the nasty, disgusting Cheetos. Yeah, you know how old those things are? Uh, like six months. At least. All right, why did you eat that? Because it was yellow and delicious looking. Uh, well, let's just figure out <laughs> how many empty calories are in this. Okay. First thing I need to do is I need to uh, weigh it. So here I'm going to weigh the Cheeto. It weighs 1.28 grams. Okay. Now in this cup right here, or this uh, uh, pop uh, pop can, I guess, I'm going to place 100 milliliters of water. Now 100 milliliters of water. That's also 100 grams of water, right? That's right, because the density of water is one gram per cubic centimeter. All right. All right. Or per milliliter. I've got my trusty thermometer. I'm going to turn my thermometer on. I'm going to put the thermometer in there. 
and I find that the temperature is 19.8 degrees Celsius. Now, I'm simply going to burn the Cheeto. Okay, so I've now placed the same Cheeto in the little stand deal there. I'm going to then turn the trusty torch on. There we go. Got basket. And now we are burning the torch, the Cheeto torch. Notice how it burns. And what's it doing to the water is it's heating up the water. And as it heats up the water, we're going to measure the change in temperature of the water. And then we can determine how many calories are in a Cheeto. Whoops. It <laughs> fell off. We're losing a little bit of our heat to oh, our... Uh... Mr. Bergman knows how to solve that problem. Hey. <laughs> So we have a, 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 a significant source of error, but we'll be in the ballpark. Yeah, we're going to be low. So the sad thing is, is once I get the final number, Mr. Sams, uh -huh. it will be lower than the real answer. Oh, you're right. Because all this energy is going to go, oh, it stinks, going to go into, all right, I think we're done. Yeah. All right, so now let's go back and do our, oh, hey, one more thing. We need to me measure the temperature of the water. So now we need to measure the temperature of the water. And you can see right here, the temperature is 27.2 degrees Celsius. So let's, uh, so we started at 27.2 degrees Celsius. We started at 19.8 19 degrees yep. Celsius. So we're going to do the calculations now. So let's do it. Mr. Sam, there was a lot of energy in that Cheeto. Yeah, there yeah. definitely was. Yeah, so what we're going to do is do the math here. All righty. Well, we got this equation, Q is equal to MC delta, delta T. T. Right. And the Q is what we're trying to find. Right. So what was the mass of the Cheeto? Um, no, no, it's the, the mass water. of the water. Right. The, it's the, the, 100 the, grams of water. Is that's right, we weighed 100 grams of water. And C for water is always 4.18 joules over gram degrees Celsius. 4.18 joules per gram degrees Celsius. Notice we're not having any naked numbers. None yep. of that. Nah. And the temperature went from 27.2. Right. 27.2. That was the final temperature. Right. And it started at 19.8, so I'm going to subtract those. And so I, I take 27.2 and I subtract 19.8. And you get 7.4. I get 7.4. Yep. So, so this is 7.4 degrees Celsius. So I just multiply these answers out. And by the way, look at the units before I multiply mm -hmm. out. The grams are going to cancel here. And so will the degrees Celsius. And you'll be left with joules. Convenient. So I'm going to take 100. Yeah. Times 4.18 times 7.4 gives me a grand total of yeah, 3,000... 3,100. Yeah, 3,100 joules. Now, in terms of kilojoules, by the way, that would be 3.1 kilojoules. Right. Sometimes you, your answer is asked for in kilojoules, so just divide by 1,000. So now let's just for fun convert that to calories, Mr. Sam. So okay. 3.1 kilojoules... We want to actually convert to kilocalories is what I like want to do. Like food calories? Because it's a food calorie. Okay. And I can say kilojoules to kilocalories, and there are 4.18 kilojoules in one kilocalorie. Right? Okay. So that's going to be about 0 0.8 maybe? 0 0.74. Oh, 0.74 calories per Cheeto. Okay. Now, we were low because we dropped it on That's the table. true. We lost a lot of I'm our I'm going to guess that you were probably off by a factor of two. I'm going to say per Cheeto, you're about two calories. Okay. So if you ate 100 Cheetos. 200 calories. 200 about what's calories. in a can of soda. Yeah. All right. Yeah, so it wasn't as bad, I like but my still, that's not still so bad. probably empty calories. But right. that's how you do now, that. Now, these, these little chocolates we determined a while back, they're like, what, 80 calories each or yeah. something like that? So yeah. I'd have to eat like 40 Cheetos for the amount of energy that's in one of these. So which is better for you? Probably the Cheetos. I'm thinking so. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, the Cheetos are mostly puffy air. You're paying a lot of money for air. Yeah, that's true. I prefer chocolate anyway. Okay, cool.